Chapter 49. Of light, colors, candles, and lamps, and to what stars, houses, and elements several colors are ascribed. Light also is a quality that partakes much of form, and is a simple act, and a representation of the understanding. It is first diffused from the mind of God into all things, but in God the Father, the Father of light, it is the first true light, then in the Son a beautiful overflowing brightness, and in the Holy Ghost a burning brightness, exceeding all intelligencies, yea, as Dionysius saith, of seraphins, in angels therefore it is a shining intelligence diffused, an abundant joy beyond all bounds of reason yet received in divers degrees, according to the nature of the intelligence that receives it, then it descends into the celestial bodies, where it becomes a store of life, and an effectual propagation, even a visible splendor. In the fire a certain natural liveliness infused into it by the heavens. And lastly in men, it is a clear discourse of reason, and knowledge of divine things, and the whole rational, but this is manifold, either by reason of the disposition of the body, as the peripatetics will have it, or which is more true, by reason of the good pleasure of him that bestows it, who gives it to every one as he pleaseth. From thence it passeth to the fancy, yet above the sense, but only imaginable, and thence to the sense, senses, but especially to that of the eyes, in them it becomes a visible clearness and is extended to other perspicuous bodies, in which it becomes a color, and a shining beauty, but in dark bodies it is a certain beneficial and generative virtue, and penetrates, to the very center, where the beams of it being collected into a narrow place, it becomes a dark heat, tormenting, and scorching, so that all things perceive the vigor of the light according to their capacity, all which joining to itself with an enlivening heat, and passing through all things, doth convey its qualities, and virtues through all things. Therefore magicians forbid the urine, urine, of a sick man to be sprinkled in the shadow of a sick man, or to be uncovered against the sun or the moon, because the rays of the light penetrating, bringing suddenly with it the noxious qualities of the sick bodies, convey them into the opposite body, and affect that with a quality of the same kind. This is the reason why enchanters have a care to cover their enchantments with their shadow. So the civet cat may call dogs dumb with the very touch of her shadow. Also there are made artificially some lights, by lamps, torches, candles, and such like, of some certain thing, and liquors opportunely chosen, according to the rule of the stars, and composed amongst themselves according to their congruity, which when they be lighted, and shine alone, are wont to produce some wonderful, and celestial effects, which men many times wonder at as Pliny reports out of Anaxilos, of a poison of mares after copulation, which being lighted in torches, doth monstrously represent a sight of horse heads, the like may be done of asses, and flies, which being tempered with wax, and lighted, make a strange sight of flies, and the skin of a serpent lighted in a lamp, maketh serpents appear. And they say when grapes are in their flower, if any one shall bind a vial to them full of oil, and shall let it alone till they be ripe, and then the oil be lighted in a lamp, it makes grapes to be seen. And so in other fruits. If sentry be mixed with honey, and the blood of the lap wing, and be put in a lamp, they that stand about will seem a great deal bigger than they are wont, and if it be lighted in a clear night, the stars will seem to be scattered the one from the other. Such force also is in the ink of the cuttlefish, that it being put into a lamp, makes black mores, black amours, appear. It is also reported, that a candle made of some certain saturnine things, if being lighted, it be extinguished in the mouth of a man newly dead, will afterwards, as oft as it shines alone, bring great sadness, and fear upon them that stand about it. Of such like torches, lamps, doth Hermes speak more of, also Plato, and Chironides and of the latter writers Albertus in a certain treatise of this particular thing. Colors also are a kind of lights, which being mixed with things, are wont to expose them to those stars, to which they are agreeable. And we shall afterwards speak of some colors, which are the lights of the planets, by which even the natures of fixed stars themselves are understood, which also may be applied to the flames of lamps, and candles. 
but in this place we shall relate how the colors of inferior mixed things are distributed to divers planets. For all colors, black, lucid, earthy, leaden, brown, have relation to Saturn. Sophia, sapphire, and airy colors, and those which are alway is green, clear, purple, darkish, golden, mixed with silver, belong to Jupiter. Red colors, and burning, fiery, flaming, violet, purple, bloody, and iron colors, resemble Mars. Golden, saffron, purple, and bright colors, resemble the Sunday but all white, fair, curious, green, ruddy, betwixt saffron, and purple, resemble Venus, Mercury, and the Moon. Moreover amongst the houses of the heaven, signs of the zodiac, the first and seventh hath white color, the second, and twelfth green, the third, and eleventh saffron, the fourth, and the tenth red, the fifth, and ninth honey color, the sixth, and eighth, black. The elements also have their colors, by which natural philosophers judge of the complexion and property of their nature, for an earthy color, caused of coldness, and dryness is brown, and black, and manifests black cola, collar, and a saturnine nature, the blue, blue, tending towards whiteness, doth denote phlegm, phlegm, for cold makes white, moisture and dryness makes black, reddish color shows blood, but fiery, flaming, burning hot, show cola, collar, which by reason of its subtlety, and aptness to mix with others, doth cause divers colors more, for if it be mixed with blood, and blood be most predominant, it makes a florid red, if cola, color, predominate, it makes a reddish, reddish, color, if there be an equal mixtion, it makes a sad red. But if a dust cola, color, be mixed with blood, it makes a hempen color, and red, if blood predominate, and somewhat red if cola, color, prevail, but if it be mixed with a melancholy humor, it makes a black color, but with melancholy, melancholy, and phlegm, phlegm, together, in an equal proportion it makes a hempen color, if phlegm, phlegm, a bound, a mud color, if melancholy, a bluish, bluish, but if it be mixed with phlegm, phlegm, alone, in an equal proportion, it makes a citrine, citron, color, if unequally, a pale, or palish. Now all colors, are more prevalent, when they be in silk, or in metals, or in perspicuous substances, or precious, precious, stones and in those things which resemble celestial bodies in color, especially in living things. 